Recent news reveals that Identity 5 is set to embark on another crossover, this time with the renowned franchise, Little Nightmares. For the uninitiated, Little Nightmares is a horror adventure game released in 2017. It revolves around the journey of Six, a famished young girl clad in a distinctive yellow raincoat, as she navigates through a surreal realm known as the Maw, a massive iron vessel. Throughout her odyssey, Six encounters terrifying creatures she must confront in order to escape. Ever since Identity 5 made a collaboration, many fans has eagerly made their own version of this little nightmare crossover. Thus, here I would also like to share my version of the little nightmare crossover based on any info available on the internet. Six serves as the primary protagonist in Little Nightmares 1, characterized by her iconic appearance, a young girl donning a yellow raincoat that stretches from her head down to her knees. Close examination reveals her black, bob-cut hair peeking out from the upper part of her face, while her feet remain bare, allowing her to traverse the eerie expanse of the maw without footwear. Notably, Six also assumes the role of the deuteragonist in its prequel, Little Nightmares 2. NetEase has confirmed that Six will indeed portray the little girl in the crossover, a decision bolstered by their similar petite stature. However, I still believe that depicting Six as the entomologist would also be appropriate, considering their shared characteristic of obscured eyes. In Little Nightmares 2, Mono takes on the role of the protagonist, serving as a prequel to the events depicted in Little Nightmares 1. His appearance is distinct, characterized by a light brown paper bag covering his face, punctuated by two holes for vision. Additionally, he dons a brown trench coat along with matching attire, giving him an overall palette of light brown hues. Like Six, he traverses the unsettling environments of the game without footwear. Together, Mono and Six embark on a frightening adventure, navigating through the eerie realm known as the Pale City. Along the way, they must survive encounters with monstrous creatures, including the menacing long neck Teacher and other threats lurking in the shadows. As confirmed in the announcement stream, Mono will indeed portray the character Axe Boy, known as Robbie White, in the crossover. Personally, I find this choice satisfying, as both characters share many resemblances. Now that we've delved into the details of the crossover, let's indulge in some imaginative speculation. What if there were even more characters involved in the crossover? What might it look like? Here's my speculation. Considering the lady's appearance, it's evident that she will portray the geisha. Their resemblance is striking, almost like twins. For context, the lady serves as the final boss in Little Nightmares 1, and emerges as a central antagonist throughout the entire franchise. She embodies the image of a traditional Japanese lady, tall and slender, with black hair styled into a partial bun. Adorned in a long, dark brown kimono with flowing trails, her attire exudes an aura of elegance and menace. As for her face, much like the geisha in Identity 5, she also wears a mask resembling a Japanese no-mask. Behind it, her eyes are lifeless black, giving her an eerie, ghostly appearance. Essentially, she's just a geisha portraying a geisha. These chubby chefs, 
who are the main baddies in Little Nightmares 1, and pop up in other Little Nightmares stuff, still give me the creeps every time I see them. You can't miss how their bodies are all puffed up, like they're some kind of oversized wine barrels or something, right? They have a bulky appearance all around, thick arms, thick legs, and a thick torso. Their eyes appear exhausted, surrounded by layers of heavy bags. Additionally, they sport a chef's hat and apron, both noticeably stained, perhaps with dirt or even blood. Given their hefty build, it seems like this character would be a perfect fit for representing Bon Bon, the guard 26 in the game. Honestly, I can't think of anyone else who would match as well. Both Wu Chang and the Thin Man share a common characteristic. They both have slender figures. The Thin Man is typically seen wearing a black suit and hat, much like one of Wu Chang's costumes. Additionally, the Thin Man is depicted with hollow cheekbones and closed eyes, giving him a sunken and emaciated appearance reminiscent of a corpse. Just from their eerie resemblance alone, I personally think the Thin Man would be the best choice to portray Wu Chang. However, there's another theory floating around suggesting that the Thin Man might actually be a better fit for portraying Jack the Ripper instead of Wu Chang. I don't mind them both, to be honest. There are a bunch of other characters that could totally fit into this crossover, like the thief as the janitor or the disciple as the teacher. But hey, I'll save the juicy details for my next video. If you've got any more cool ideas for this Little Nightmares crossover, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, folks!